We are now going to start our horizontal design, our design in general, and uh, to do this we need a design file, a model file, uh, so we will take a new drawing and save it as our M, M for model, and then road because this is the discipline that we are handling right now, M road and save it in the mod folder. Now this is this is an empty file so far because we haven't done any design and before we can start our design we need to have some background maps and this is where we need to use the, the XREF, the external reference principles. Now just before we saved our uh, technical maps, our land register and our contour lines in our XREF folder. And this is the only copy of these files that we will ever have. If we need to use technical maps, contour lines or uh, land register, we should create an image of these files within the file that we are doing our design. And to do this we use the XREF command. The XREF command is found in the insert menu, external references, and then this small window will pop open and this is where you can attach all the different background images that you need to, to carry out your design. To start attaching you right click in the white area and then you can see you can attach many different kinds of files but in this case we need to attach uh, another DVG file. So attach DVG and then browse to your XREF folder and we can start by choosing a technical map and open. Now the next window that appears is this one and here it's extremely important that you do not scale your map, you do not rotate and the insertion point should always be 0, 0.0 and the most important thing, the thing that will tell us if or decide if our maps are coming into the right position is the block unit the factor needs to be 1. We did our DD units and inch units when we were uh, validating our maps and this is the result. The factor when we attach as XREFs will be 1. If not, you have to go through the validation process one more time. Um, reference type should be overlay and this means that we will not drag along external references of external references of external references if we attach to a certain drawing. So always keep it in overlay. Path type, uh, this is this could come in handy if you are carrying your data around on a USB stick and your drive name uh, changes from time to time. Set the path to relative. Then uh, the system will not bother checking uh, the drive name, it will start from the folder and then go back uh, to search for the specific file that you need to attach. When this is done, press OK. And then apparently nothing happens uh, and this is because the map that we have attached will be inserted in 0, 0.0 and it will be placed in the right coordinates so we just need to zoom extends, zoom extends, and our map will appear. Now you can see that the map is quite uh, dizzy, and this is the way it looks like when you attach an XREF. If you click on the map, you will find out that it's one object. And this is the whole idea of this XREF. This is not our map, it's just an image of our map. So if we get a new map, 
uh, or an updated version of our technical map, save it into our XREF folder with the same name. The changes will automatically appear in all drawings where we have attached an image of that specific file. That's the idea of the XREF principles. Now to to carry on with our design, we need to attach the other files as well. So we will attach our land register, factor 1, overlay, relative path, scale 1, insertion point 0, 0.0, OK. And we will see that land register will appear in the right coordinates just on top of our technical map. And the last file, in this case, our contour lines. All informations are correct. And it appears in the right position. Now when we're doing our design, <coughs> we should make some, some, uh, some new layers for center lines and road edges and stuff like this. And it can be quite hard to uh, see the difference between new and old and this is why we usually change the color of the layers inside this uh, model file so that existing uh, constructions are gray and new constructions are colored so if we start the layer manager by typing LA we will then see to begin with at least all the layers in this uh, specific drawing but if we look at the folder structure out here on the left we can see that there's a point called xref if we expand this folder we can see that we have our contour lines our register and our technical map this means that we can separate the different layers in our drawing depending on which xref we want to change the colors in so let's just start with technical map these are all the layers contained in the technical map and you can see the name of the layers are all starting with X technical map and so on if I just expand this one so this is the actual layer name but because it's an XREF the X technical map is in front of it we choose all the layers And change the color to some sort of gray. Let's take 251. And we can see now that the color of the technical map changed. We will take our land register, select all the layers, change the color maybe to 8. And our contour lines were already gray, so we'll just keep them as they were. We'll close the layer manager. And we should now be ready to begin our horizontal design. Sometimes when you perform this changing of colors, nothing will happen. The colors will still stay the same. And when you have this problem, you need to open the specific file could be the technical map and then change all the colors inside the technical map file change the color to the color named by layer this way you will be able to change it when you get back to your model file but I'll just save my model file now so that I uh, keep my changes and I'll be ready to do my design quick save <coughs> 